Anderson, Carl Ravitch here. Julie founded down on the field, joined by a couple of very special guests, the former director of the Hall of Fame in Cooperstown, New York. Jeff Idelson joining us and his friend Gene Fruth, who is a photographer. I got a chance to fly over to Cuba and experience Cuba with Gene. They have a new book out called Grassroots Baseball. It is interesting on the cover. That's a picture of Cuba, right? Absolutely. Old Havana. Tell us about the book. What's the purpose of the book and your grassroots baseball and your experience with baseball? As I traveled shooting Major League Baseball, as you know, I always took time to shoot the amateur game, the grassroots game. And this is a collection of my images from all around the world. Here's an image for you right there, Gene. How about I that missed catch? that one, unfortunately. <laughs> well, you saw it with your eyes, though. It's <laughs> in your head. Great catch by Colin Crane. So go ahead, continue. So 15 chapters, eight in the U.S., seven outside the U.S., and each chapter opens with a Hall of Famer or a legend from that region telling his story of what it was like growing up in that region. And Hall of Famers like Hank Aaron, Whitey Ford, Randy Johnson, who was just here. Yeah. Legend Fernando oh. Valenzuela from yeah. Mexico. Ichiro Suzuki from yeah. Japan. Uh, and many more. We have Cal Ripken Jr. who wrote the introduction. Uh, and Johnny Bench from mm -hmm. Binger, Oklahoma who wrote the afterword. And this one back up the middle. Another good play by Owen Pfeffer. What got you involved with the book, Jeffrey? Well, Gene was shooting for the Hall of Fame. And I got to see firsthand how much he appreciated the amateur game. And then it was about connecting her with Hall of Famers. And every single guy we talked to, all of them, all 15, the 13 Hall of Famers and the other three legends have absolutely want to be connected to this project. Cool. Part of a bigger project, grassroots baseball, which we're undertaking now, which is promoting the amateur game, giving back and underprivileged communities to help grow the game. Colin what was it about the amateur game for somebody that was involved with baseball at its highest level? I mean, you were dealing with Hall of Fame players oh. all the time. Why the amateur game? Well, eight years at the Major League level, 25 with the Hall of Fame, Carl. I thought it was time to go back and join Gene and promote the amateur game. And that part of our game doesn't get enough love in our opinion i'm so glad to see espn here in williamsport oh. we wanted to do our part by helping to promote it and grow it in those communities where kids may not have that opportunity gene did you have a favorite stop was there one that, that stuck out more than any other oh uh, well there was many this one especially yeah. you know, i got a chance to shoot here in williamsport a few years ago and um a lot of special images came out of here and of course little league helped me all around the world you know in the united right. states and outside connecting me with many little leagues um, um, all around, so that's pretty special to me. And the other, I would say, is uh, Mobile, Alabama, you know, a place yeah. where five Hall of Famers are from, and it's a very historical uh, chapter of the book. How do people get the book? Uh, GrassrootsBaseballBook.com. And the proceeds today go to? Uh, uh, goes to Little League, and we're so yeah, we're selling the book here um, on the concourse, and uh, we have books signed by Randy Johnson, Craig Biggio. Thank That's you guys awesome. very much. Best yeah. of luck with the book. Absolutely. Terrific pictures, yeah. good stories throughout it. Grassroots Baseball, where legends begin. The photographs by Gene Fruit, and I can vouch they're all tremendous. That'd be a great photograph. We've got a great game going on here. Stay with us. The Little League World Series continues.